glute training. It's important for all competitors. And today we're going to talk about the three exercises that are going to give you the most glute development on first call outs. from Team Flex. You're my show, First Call Outs, every single Wednesday. Get right here on Team Flex TV and we talk about everything for you competitors out there. I want to tell you how to be better. I want to teach you how to get into that iconic first call out, all right? And we're going to talk about today glute training and the three most beneficial exercises are going to give you the most development, the biggest glutes out there, all right? This is something you all want to watch no matter what division you compete in, I'm going to tell you, all right? So do me a favor real quick before we get started. Subscribe to this channel, hit this button right here, and if you have any questions or comments, anything like that, just drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them for you, all right? Thanks for watching. Let's dive in. Glute training, it's important for all divisions. Believe it or not, even the male divisions, aside from like men's physique maybe because they're not focused on lower body, need to focus on some level of glute training too. Bodybuilders need glutes. Classic physique needs glutes, you know? And and that's just the way it is. But also, especially, 100% we know the women's divisions do revolve around glutes, especially the most popular ones, which would be bikini and would be wellness. But also, it's going into figure, it's also going into women's physique and women's bodybuilding to the degree that needs to fit the criteria. Regardless, you competitors out there, you want to be building your glutes. You want to know the best exercise to actually do it. So here's what we're going to do. Exercise number one for glute training is one that I talk about all the time and I would it would be hard pressed to find somebody not doing this on Team Flex and that is the hip thrust, okay? The barbell hip thrust is the best exercise for strict isolation of the glutes in a compound fashion. And the way I say compound is because you're able to load a lot of weight here. Obviously other muscles are working with the glutes here in this situation, but it is the one that's going to focus the emphasis the most on them. So if you're not familiar with the hip thrust, we're putting a video up right here for you now, but basically your back's on the bench and you want to have the bar on your hips and you want to bring it down to the floor, come back up to a bridge position. That is the hip thrust and it's the most beneficial glute exercise out there, you guys especially if you really tweak your form to focus on the glutes. A lot of people can have a hard time getting used to this exercise, put a little bit too much into the quads or you know other parts of the body when they're doing it. But over time, if you can isolate the glutes, you can improve your form, tuck your chin down, you know, keep everything right where it needs to be in that posterior chain, then it's going to be immensely beneficial for glute development. And you know, you want to train the hip thrust in a wide variety of um, different rep ranges, different sets, different volume, depending on your goal and where you're at. But it is one that you do not want to leave out of your glute training. It just does not. It has to be there. For the most part, if you don't have it in your programming, it's probably for a very specific reason. But, you know, for most people on Team Flex, we're going to have them doing this because it's just one of the most beneficial exercises for building bigger glutes, period. All right, let's dive to exercise number two now which has to be, guess what, another compound, and this is going to be squats. You know, there's been a lot of debate and a lot of talk about how squats are not the best glute developer out there in the game for you, and they're not. They're not the one that's going to isolate it the best, but for most people that, you know, they're doing any type of glute building, they're going to want to be doing squats, and it depends the form that you have when you do them. You really got to make sure you prioritize getting the right form down that's going to actually hit these. You can actually do squats more so to target posterior chain versus your quads if you know how to set your form up right. You know, uh, form where you're not leaning uh, as far up, you're not as tall, you're a little bit lean more forward as you do it, you're kind of sitting down between your legs a bit more, you know, you're not driving your knees forward, that's going to target the posterior chain a lot more. And you know, when they run the metrics on these things, you guys, where they hook people up to machines and they test these, the glutes are very, very active in squats and they are a beneficial exercise. You know, there was always the traditional idea of people talking different kind of crap on the internet about squats, saying they're not the best for glute development, and they may not be, but they are one of the exercises you definitely want to have in your program if you're trying to build glutes. Just remember, the way you do this is going to be different. I'm not saying necessarily just barbell squats either. Could be a goblet squat. Could be uh, an exercise with a band. Could be all these different things. And those would be ones you have to focus on. And, you know, for the last exercises, we're going to actually talk about a myriad of exercises here, a bunch of different ones, and that's cable movements for the glutes, okay? We're talking about kickbacks. We're talking about lateral kicks. We're talking about variations of all different types of kicks 
kicks and other things that you could be doing with a cable attached to your ankle. These are really, really good for shaping out the glute and working specific parts of the glute for um, wellness competitors, bikini competitors. It becomes very, very important that you have certain portions of the glute developed and rounded out and, you know, uh, specifically the upper glute has the right shape to it and everything. This is where you do it. You know, these first two exercises more for that development, more for that girth, and then we have these ones to shape it and bring it through, which would be cable movements. And not to get, you know, mixed up with saying that this is only for shaping, it's also going to go to the development, but it all comes together, it all goes full circle when we bring these together. So third best exercise for glutes has to be these kickbacks, but it's got to be these kickbacks, you know, where you're doing back kickbacks, you're doing to the side kickback, you're doing all different kind of kicks with the cable to the point where you're isolating each group. And the cool thing is with these, you can also bring through different tweaks and different other areas where you can hit different spots specifically, limited ranges of motion and other things like that to really bring out specific parts of the glutes. Now, there's definitely other contenders, you guys. There's definitely a lot more glute exercises. I'm giving you three here today, but I could give you other top threes, other top threes, other top threes. There's all kinds of top threes out there, you know? So if you want to see more glute specific exercises that would be best for you to build your best set of glutes, your biggest glutes, your most, most developed glutes for stage, go over to my website right now, teamffelex.com, subscribe to our free trial, and me or one of my coaches will show you exactly how to do this, show you the exercise selection, and show you what to do. Because obviously you ain't going to get anywhere doing just us three exercises, right? So head over to that website and do that free trial. Thanks for watching First Calls. I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. Be back tomorrow for Fitness Fire. Thanks for watching. Coach Rye is out.